All right, family, it's Tasha, uh, um, Mama Bear Homestead. So today we're just preserving some food. And today I'm basically doing um, pickled eggs, but I'm doing pickled eggs and sausage. Um, and I'm doing a Cajun style recipe. So Cajun style eggs and sausage. And let me just show you really quick what we're gonna be working with today. So I have um, 12 eggs here. We'll see how far that goes. I sterilized three jars, three quart size jars. So we'll see um, just because a typical jar typically will get me 10 to 12 eggs, um, but since we're adding the sausage, I might get further um, with just the 12 eggs that I think, okay? So I've got 12 eggs. Um, I actually made my eggs, you guys, today in, for the first time in the Instapot, so we'll see um, how that works out. I actually have another batch cooking right now in the Instapot, but people are raving about them. So boil your eggs, peel your eggs. They were the easiest to peel from the Instapot as well. I basically did the Instapot for five minutes and then I put them in the um, fridge with a little bit of ice water and the shells came right off. I'm also adding some sausage. You can add whatever sausage you want. Um, I'm just adding this basic uh, smoked sausage. I have two packs again don't know how long that's gonna how far that's gonna take me i got um so this recipe when you see a lot of people do their cajun eggs they do it with the old bay seasoning i'm actually gonna do it with slap your mama so we love the slap your mama there's a yellow um can that's the original and this is the hot so i'm just gonna be using the hot and i suppose if you wanted it hotter then you could just get hot sausage as well you see the pressure canner is going Okay, and then I'm gonna stick some of this um, pickling spice in there. And then you guys, I didn't have fresh garlic, but I'm just gonna be throwing in some minced garlic into my jars so that I get some garlic at what, you know, at some point, right? Um, but fresh garlic is normally what I will put in my jars. I had some fermented honey garlic. I was this close to putting it in there, but I, I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to, um, I'm going for a certain flavor today, okay? Um, so I'll bring you guys back when I have my jars and they're ready to go and I'll let you watch me fill these, okay? I'm gonna get this sausage all cut up and I'll bring you back. Okay, family, I'm back. <clears throat> Let's get into this. So I've got my jars, they're ready to go. They're a little bit um, hot still, but I've got them up here, okay? So I'm just gonna start filling my jars, you guys, um, with a few things. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting a couple eggs little bit of sausage, couple eggs. I guess it's more sausage than eggs. Okay, two, four, six. So I think it probably will be. That's about it. Probably could cram some more eggs in, but because I want to get at least two of the jars, you guys, this is what I'm going to do, okay? So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, I'm going to do a one tablespoon or teaspoon, and I'm actually going to do two of these. You guys, my thing is super tight. Two teaspoons in the jar. My hole in my, um... And I just made a big old mess on myself, you guys. It's right here. I just spilled a bunch on me. I'm also, like I said, gonna add some of this pickling mix. And I'm actually gonna just do a half, a, a heaping one though, okay? And then I'm gonna get some garlic. And I'm gonna do a little bit more, you guys. And I'm gonna do half a tablespoon of my minced garlic. Boom, keeping, doesn't matter you guys. I don't really measure anything. I have powder all over me. Um, I just kind of throw things together. So I'm gonna do my funnel, and then I'm gonna do my pickling solution, which is um, in this pan, I did three cups of um, white vinegar. And then I did two cups of water, and then I just boiled it together. Now, typically, you guys, I'm gonna keep an inch head space. Typically, I would add salt, um, but because my Slap Your Mama has salt in it, I'll be good. And let me just tell you what is in my Slap Your Mama, you guys. Uh, I think the Cajun one, if you do the, um, 
obey it has a few more things in it the slap your mama only has where's it at here we go salt red pepper black pepper and garlic that's it right it doesn't have a whole lot of extra stuff um and that's it you guys now I'm putting these back on, okay? But you, these are going in the fridge after they've sat on the counter for a little bit, right? Cool down, then they're gonna go in the fridge. They're gonna go in the fridge for um, weeks, several weeks, right? Um, I probably won't taste them for at least a couple weeks, um, but this will be good in your refrigerator for six months. I've had pickled eggs in my fridge for a long time. And here you are. These are mine. <coughs> I'm gonna do one more jar. I'm dying right now because I spilled that all on me. I'll let you know. I got my kid out here. So I had a whole fit, just sneezed about 10 times, whatever. I got the slap your mama all on this mama and it about killed me just now, okay? Um, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do this jar. My little one is gonna help us and let's go. Okay, so. Here you go, babe. Put in a couple eggs. Okay. Watch this pan right here. Couple of eggs. Yeah. Oh, they can see your marked. Yeah, your I marker have marker your... all over me. Okay. Two eggs. All right. Put in some sausages. Two. Well, I'll, I'll do three. Yeah. Two, three. Okay. Two more put eggs. in two more eggs. And then a few more sausages. Um, we like meat. Yes. Yes, we do. We're Should meat we? family. Yeah. Okay. And then the other eggs, and then some more sausage. Two, six, okay. one, two, it's kind of stuck in there. Yeah, just squeeze it down, babe. There you go. And I think you can get one more. One more, just one more. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put our ingredients in. I'm going to do this again. Hopefully I don't kill myself. Okay. There's like not very much space, you guys, in my Slap Your Mama. And so when the spoon comes out, it wants like to flicks pop. All over yeah, you. it wants to flick. It just flicks all over your shit. But don't worry, this mama was dying, and my little one came to save the day, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I when was in the bathroom when it happened, <laughs> when it started. And then another heaping of the pickling, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do another half heaping of the garlic. Right, and then we're gonna do our funnel, and then the liquid. You want to do the liquid? Sure. You just take some. Okay, go ahead. I don't know if I get enough. I probably didn't get enough. You just gotta keep doing it. Yeah, I need one more. One more liquid. So dainty. That looks good. I would. I would Let me tip it. I'd probably eat this. There you go. I you didn't eat, eat so typically he doesn't eat the pickled eggs, do you? No, I don't really eat the pickled eggs. Um, but I love them, and um, you do the pickled eggs on the ramen. I don't do that. Yeah, see, he knows. I do the pickled eggs on my ramen, on my noodles. <coughs> see, I'm still trying. Okay, um, a little more. A little bit more. Just a, just a tiny bit. He said just a teeny bit. Okay. So there we go. Come say hi. Put that down. Little one saying hi. You got to do food preservation with your kids. You got to teach them stuff. You got to teach them about preparedness. They want to know they're inquisitive. So let them help you. Okay. So, all right. All Kick right. rocks. Wow. <laughs> all right. Right. So I'm going to put the lid on these. I'm going to let them sit out on the counter for a couple hours. Then I'm going to put them in the fridge. They're going to stay there for a couple weeks and then I'll taste them and maybe I'll bring you guys back or let you just see in one of my videos what, how they taste. Okay. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.